going to demonstrate how a hydronic heating radiator panel system works. A centrally located thermostat, which displays the date, the current time and the current room temperature, is the brains behind your heating system. And for demonstration purposes, if I increase this temperature above the current temperature, the thermostat is going to call for heat, indicated by the flame icon. In this case, our Imagas internal gas boiler is going to turn on much like an instantaneous hot water system. By burning gas, it transfers the heat energy into water. With panel heating, the boiler is set to increase the temperature of the water to 70 degrees Celsius. The boiler has an internal pump that pumps the water through the flow and return pipes. The flow and return pipes run from and to the boiler, generally down the centre of the home. Each panel then branches off the flow and return pipes. As you can see, the flow and return pipes are much thicker than the branch pipes to the panel. As the water temperature increases inside the radiator, the heat energy is exchanged from the water and into the metal panels and then radiates into the room. Radiators such as our standard range that have convection fins increase the efficiency of that heat energy conversion by creating convection where cold air is drawn through the fins of the panel, heating it in the process. When sizing a panel for a room, we need to take into consideration the kilowatts required to heat the space, the wall space available and general aesthetics and sometimes the stock availability. From the dimensions of the room, in this example we've calculated the bedroom floor needs 1.656 kilowatts. With a known kilowatt requirement, we can now consult our sizing diagram. As you can see, there is a very large range of sizes that will suit that kilowatt rating. At the top of each of these tables, you'll see a type number. There are four panel configurations, type 1-1 with one panel and one fin, the compact type 2-1 with two panels and one fin, the standard 2-2 with two panels and two internal fins and the triple, the triple having three panels and three rows of convection feet. As you can see from the sizing sheet, the same dimensions in a different type give a far different kilowatt rating. When sizing a panel, things such as location and wall space should be taken into consideration. The most commonly used type is a 2-2, but gives a good heat output for the smallest width and height. So in the case of bedroom 4, requiring 1.656 kilowatts, we would usually choose a type 2-2 that was 600 high, which would respond to an 800 wide unit. Each panel has a simple on-off valve, so a spare room radiator could be turned off for example. It is highly ideal to have a thermostatic head in bedrooms. You can learn how to use these in our other video.